I've got Perry the Platypus. Hello, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel, Megan Chown Vlogs. In this video, I'm going to be packing my personal item. So I've just recorded packing my cabin bag item for flying to Australia. It was a whole heap of things. I feel like it's massively overpacked and I'm a bit fl flustered from that. But anyway, I'm going to move on to packing the personal item. So I'm flying to Australia tomorrow. I'm going to go for about five weeks. I'm going hand luggage only and I've got a cabin bag. It's very overfull, I'm gonna have to repack it. And I've got a personal item. So I'm flying with British Airways and they allow you to take two pieces of hand luggage and you can have 23 kilos of hand luggage. I mean, that's exciting times. That carry-on is just so heavy, I cannot, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to take some stuff out. Anyway. This is the backpack that I'm taking with me as my personal item. As you may notice from the logo on the front, it is a pack safe bag. So I have accidentally bought this bag this week, if I'm honest, because I just absolutely love pack safe and I had their LS350, which was 15 litres. This is the LS450, which is 25 litres, and... I, ne I decided I needed a bigger bag, so here, here we are. I'll go over the brief features of it. So it's a 25 litre backpack. PackSafe are a brand that specialise in anti-theft. They do things like have little thin wire mesh, so the front of it is slash proof. They've got little mechanisms at the side where like the zips can lock into each other. It's got RFID blocking pockets. We just love it, we just love it. I also love the water bottle holders on the sides are really big as well, so I can fit my massive wide mouth hydro flask in here. This is what we've got for the personal item. So in here, this is gonna be like the bag that's on me all the time. So it's gonna have like all my valuables in here. So we're gonna start off in the big section. So it's got a laptop sleeve. So I'm taking my laptop, which is my MacBook Pro, and I'm also taking my iPad. So these are, I feel like both controversial things to take, but I've got 20 essays to mark for a start for work. And also like there are so many digital nomads now that it's like, I feel like less of a taboo to have your laptop and stuff in a hostel but yeah i need it so those are both going in there additional electronics wise i have it in a dry bag so that it doesn't get wet obviously that's how dry bags work hopefully so this is from the brand eagle creek this is actually from canada but it's a little pouch little tech pouch so in here i've got my adapter for my macbook so i can stick like usbs and stuff in i've got my power bank for charging my phone on the go, but I've got a new phone that actually has battery, which is ideal. Woo! I've got my hard drive so I can edit on the go, and then I've also got, what are you? Oh, I know what this is. Clearly I've had this ages ago. It's like called a, is it called an air fly? But it's this little thing that you stick into the airplane earphone sockets so that you can use your own earphones and headphones on the plane. I'm flying to Australia, I'm on a plane for like 24 hours, instead of 48 then, 24 hours. So I just thought it'd be nice to have like my own headphones in so that, because I just feel like your ears hurt like after not that long using the like airlines ones and then entertainment wise on the plane i have my kindle so this is actually a child's kindle because it's waterproof and i've got loads of books downloaded on here i read really really slowly so i'm hoping time will go quickly with having my kindle i've then got this little pouch i picked this up in san diego when i was in america with my sister a couple of years ago and it's got important things in like bear credit and debit cards, my G-Hit card, my Go card that I have from South Queensland, because I was like, well, I may as well take it because it's still got some credit on it. Spare passport photos, because sometimes you need it for like visas and stuff, but like, I don't know, I, I have all my, like I'm using my visa from last time. I've actually got birthday cards in here, so people have sent me birthday cards because it's my birthday when I'm away. What is going on with this? So I've got birthday cards in here, and like photocopies of my passport, vaccination details, things like that. I've got a, an actual paper copy of my visa for Australia as well. So I keep double checking to make sure it's correct. I have this little pouch, which to be fair, can go in my like cabin bag where, I don't know, but anyway, it can. It's just like food bags. So it's really useful for storing food in, as the name suggests. I might try and wangle it in there, but I just don't know. I'm gonna have to have a redo of my bag, unfortunately. I have a puzzle book. So this is a puzzle book for adults and I get real aggy on a plane. <laughs> real aggy on a plane. So I thought that if I had like something to distract me, then that might help hopefully in case they're like, oh, you can't have your iPad out because we're taking off. Like some people are, so I've got a puzzle book. I have my first aid kit. So I will link a short down below of what I have in my first aid kit because it's basically not changed. But I've got this actual one from 
mountain warehouse and then just filled it with my own things so i've got like bandages and everything on this side and then medication on this side and then electrolyte tablets in the middle as you will see i have my pseudochrome in here because it is not a liquid it cannot be poured it is not a liquid so i have my pseudochrome in here as well speaking of liquids i have my liquids here they are in a liquids bag they are in a dry bag in case they spill i'm going hand luggage only so all of my liquids obviously have to come in hand luggage with me so i have it in this little baggie here i have i'm going to start really randomly this is a little ice pack because then i can it my perfume smells in here i'm kind of concerned that it's leaked this is a little ice pack so that i can take food out with me although i'm gonna have to wash it so it doesn't smell like perfume I've got bug spray because I'm going to Australia. They've got bugs. I've got some shampoo. So I'm taking shampoo bars, but this one I call my reset shampoo. It just kind of cleans my hair like really well if it's skanky. I have asthma. These are dry powder inhalers, but for some reason they say it's a liquid. So I've got my brown steroid inhaler that's preventer and my blue reliever inhaler. This is coming out though. Let's stick that back in again. I have mascara, which is a tiny bit of liquid, but it is liquid. I have piercing cleaner. So I had my seconds and thirds pierced about eight weeks ago and they're still not fully healed. So I'm taking that with some cotton, like some bamboo cotton pads. Cuticle oil, cause I've got my gel nails on and it's to keep my nail beds hydrated apparently. It makes them adhere for longer. I have my perfume, which honestly this whole bag smells of. It's Tommy Girl perfume because why not? And it's just like in a little decanter boy. And then I've got a little 20 mil thing of leave-in conditioner. And then I've just got like my little pouch of creams like hydrocortisone, afterbite cream, antiviral, antifungal. We've got all of the antis in there. We've got all of the creams. So that's my liquids bag. It actually closes quite well. You will notice I don't have sun cream in here. I realise I need sun cream in Australia. I realise it's a hot country and I realise I'm very pale. But there's a sun cream over there that I really like called something to do with goat from Chemist Warehouse and it's like non-sticky and really nice on my skin. So on my first day in Sydney when I'm trying to stay awake because my plane lands at 7am, I'm going to go on a little jaunt to get myself some sun cream. Then I have my little nighttime pouch. So this is what I keep with me like every night in a hostel. So in here I have a sleeping mask which is the biggest sleeping mask I think I've ever had. But I'm hoping it's gonna block everything out and be nice and comfy. If not, I'm gonna be angry because this is taking up so much space. I then have a phone charger. I've got a little pouch to put my jewelry in at the end of the night. And then I've also got some earrings in here and also some earplugs in case anyone's snoring. And then I have a little pouch. So if you're on the top bunk of a, uh, like a bed in a hostel, it's really useful to have like a little pouch to, to put things in, like a little tote bag or something. And you can like attach it around the side of like the bunk bed bars so your stuff doesn't go walk about in the middle of the night because it can like fall down to the bunk below you and whatnot. This is a bit of a nightmare to do up now actually because this new eye mask is just so large. In this little bag, I have a blanket. This is, I mean, this is excessive. I'm going hand luggage only. I can't do my, ca my cabin bag up. I'm taking a blanket with me. Anyway, I get nips and i really like a flat pillow as well and sometimes hostels have poofy pillows it just really affects the way that i sleep i'm in my 30s i have a bad night's sleep I'm, I'm done in for a week and it's also got a silk pillowcase in here in case the pillows look skanky or just it'll stop my hair from going as frizzy and it doesn't really take up much room like in the little pouch i oh so we had our last teaching session of the term today and as i mentioned it's my birthday when i'm away my students got me a present like i went out to get a drink came back and they all sang happy birthday to me they've got me a disposable camera like how cute is that so i've got it in a little sunglasses pouch i'm absolutely buzzing it works out at roughly one photo a day so i'm gonna have to really think hard about what photo i want to take a day but it's just that's just so kind you know like they gave me a lovely card they'd all signed it anyway it, it was very emotional i ran a half marathon yesterday emotions were running high i was a hot mess yesterday that was so lovely of them i have a pair of sunglasses which are from snake lane which is a 10 mile race near me in pocklington and there's a bit of competition on to see who can get the sunglasses to travel the furthest and i was like well sir i'm going to take them to a park run in sydney so they're <laughs> definitely coming with me i've then got a head torch i just find it really useful to have a head torch when i'm traveling like if you're in a hostel and you're leaving early or if you're camping on gari like i will be a waterproof backpack cover because this backpack is shower proof but it's not waterproof i've then got a little pouch that's got wilderness wipes in and deodorant so I can keep myself clean and fresh when I'm on the plane. I'm also going to put some, like a couple of toothpaste tablets in and my toothbrush as well. In here, another pouch, I have a spare pair of panties so I can freshen up when I get to Singapore and then I'll just like put my old panties in here, like ready to go in the wash. This guy 
has snackos in. So obviously, obviously I've got Percy's, I've got some Percy pigs. And then I've got these bars. So I'm currently really loving these bars. And apparently they don't do this brand in Australia. The salty caramel and dark chocolate are the one. So they're coming. These have in them over the ear headphones so that like they block the noise out a bit more they're bluetooth as well so i can attach them to the dongle thing that i'm going to stick in there what's it in here which is another little dry bag i have just like a, a macbook adapter with the duck head like australian thing so i can just plug it straight into the wall i just find it really useful to have this in my hand luggage i have a platypus i've got perry the platypus he's he's going to be my little traveling buddy this time yodes are staying at home so i just don't want to lose him you know and i just feel like perry needs to go i bought him off vintage for like two pounds because he's got a little bit of dirt on his arm but we're gonna have a good time if you don't know who this is by the way you need to watch phineas and ferb it's an excellent film well like tv show this is my travel journal so i'm gonna hopefully write in this every day it's it's just like a like a like a travel journal situation and i've got some washi tape so that i'm not taking glue because sometimes that's classed as a liquid so and i thought that was nice and then finally i've got my hydro flask so this is a 1.2 liter hydro flask i think got a little asexual sticker on it we love that the asexual rainbow so now i'm just going to try and like pack all this in and find the best way to put it in because i've had a meltdown with my cabin bag that just needs redoing so we'll try and get this in <laughs> Right, well, after the meltdown of the cabin bag, that packed a lot easier. So I'm gonna put my neck pillow in here and I might put my little fold out waterproof bag in here as well. Cause I think that was causing some problems as well. So this is my personal item all packed. I'm hoping it's not too big. I mean, we'll see when we try and get it on the plane, you know? I mean, it can definitely go under the sea. Hopefully it's gonna be all right. We shall see, we shall see. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, just pop them down, downstairs, down below in the comment box and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>